next, it's a UFC light heavyweight division collision. Well, this dude is a submission magician. I am very thankful I am not fighting him here tonight, and it's really a case of pick your poison. He has so many different chokes in his arsenal and has been a master of getting these fights exactly where he wants them. There are black belts and there are guys like this who can do jujitsu at a level that not many people, regardless of the time spent, can truly get to. His understanding of position is truly unbelievable. He always has the frame. The moment you start to press into him, he's always underhooking, always looking for the next escape route, but not to get back to his feet. Right. He wants to go from bottom to top. If he's in the top position, you are constantly, constantly in danger. Don't think he can't submit you from the bottom. Right. But his position of choice will always be in the top position sitting yes. in that beautiful half guard. Yeah, his striking also has improved a lot, but no secret as to what he'll be trying to do in this matchup tonight. Well, DC, this is a true mixed martial artist of the highest order. You've watched the film. Hard for me to see much in terms of glaring weaknesses, and he believes he can react to anything that is thrown his way inside that arc. It's unbelievable, because whenever you're trying to prepare for someone, you look for weaknesses. But when you watch this guy, you, nothing jumps off the page. When you think I have to go wrestle him, you realize very quickly that not only can he defend takedowns, he can also go and secure them sure. himself. He's that new breed of fighter that has been doing every discipline from the very start of his career. You know you're looking at a guy that will contend for a championship. And if our fighter meeting on Thursday is any indication, confidence not an issue for this young man coming in here tonight. Our tail of the tape for this light heavyweight tilt. Four years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we send it inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the O2 Arena in London, England, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a judo fighter, holding a professional record of 15 wins, five losses. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Toronto, Ontario, Canada, Misha Sarkuna! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 13 wins, two losses. He stands six feet four inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Vienna, Austria, Alexander Rakan! All right, go through the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your hands, my friend. Goes. You've got a submission specialist on one side and on the other side. Maybe the most well-rounded fighter in this division. Yeah, he is one of the best fighters in the entire UFC. But in front of him, he has one of the most dangerous fighters across all divisions in the octagon. Because that one skill he has is so good that you're, un you're in danger the entire time. Big ball punch land. Now he gets back in range.
transition. Nice scramble. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Serkunov's looking to pass here, denied by the opponent. All right, north-south position now. We'll see who transitions first. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Good movement by him here, transitioning very well on the ground tonight. Step for step, he's staying with his opponent in every transition. Ground and pound is good. Probably my favorite striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as it gets. The problem is his opponent oh, yeah. is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates distance and space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Serkunov's pass attempt denied. All right, north-south position now. We'll see how he chooses to proceed. Serkunov's got an arm. Looks like he's trying to lock up a Kimura. And oh! Elbow, and he's gonna chase the submission finish. Oh, and that was a violent tap there, so he submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting, and it showed tonight in this big submission victory. All right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. He was able to get the fight to the ground exactly where he wanted it. Eventually, his opponent gave him an opportunity to get a submission. He did that, and he should be very proud of the work he did tonight in the octagon. So there he is, your winner by submission tonight, and that is how you put the rest of the division on notice. A huge result for him here tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta is going to stop to this contest at two minutes, 55 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out, Misha Sakuna. All right, so what a performance by this young man here tonight as he gets the win by way of submission. He certainly put a lot of stock into getting the finish tonight, and he did just that. Congratulations. It was a very tough fight, but he knew that if he did everything right, he can get to his position, which is the ground, and he would be able to find a finish by submission tonight. He did just that.